Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. And today is episode number 13. Oh, really? Of Same Brain Podcast. Whoa, number 13. Roll that intro. It's really number 13? That's what my note said. You're I think right. Last it week is. said episode 12. Because remember, our episode 12 notes were empty. It last only said time? episode 12. That was it. So this week, is we have episode 13. Some notes. This time. We have, I, well, I can't stop getting close to the microphone. We have a couple notes. No, you need to be close to the microphone. True, but I can't, it's those peas again, man. <laughs> anyway, we have a lot of notes and um, a lot of exciting news that We need happening. to do the thing that we do at the beginning yes. is we read our reviews. We're so prepped for this episode. Like I'm shaking. Well, don't do that. I'm shaking with excitement. Do you want to go ah! first with the um, voice? Audio messages from anchor.fm slash same brain. We now have this running through to the roadcaster, so you'll be able to hear it. Like I'm not, I don't have to use my phone. Like we're so freaking prepped, guys. Get hyped. Hype, hype. Can we get a hype? Woo, 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 woo. Jenna's hyped. Okay. Uh, this one is from Hannah. She says, Love you guys. Hi, Justine and Jenna. I love you guys so much. I've been watching your videos for two years since I was nine. You have gotten me through so many low and stressful times Aww. in my life. You guys make me feel more accepted as a Anna. female that is into tech. Every You're time I have a hard day at school, I sit down, mm -hmm. put on my headphones, and listen to your guys' podcast and YouTube videos. You guys are so awesome, and you Aww. do not know the impact you have had on my life. Everything that you have done has got me through so much, and I will never forget get you guys love you guys stay safe bye okay, well Hannah. now i'm going to cry hannah. that was very very sweet very very sweet hannah we love you too oh thank my you goodness. so much for your support we love you guys you're all so awesome and i mean you guys are so supportive for us too i mean honestly like some days when we don't want to like make videos i'll go and read your comments and your tweets and you're like it, it's it's uplifting well even like that type of comment you know it's like that's the reason why you know it really makes it worth it for sure. So and I'm glad that sweet. we could be good role models for you. Yeah. I, well, this, this one just says, oh my God, so good. Keep it up, Justine and Jenna. That's, that's this support. This is support, support and we appreciate the feedback. Jenna, where are you getting those comments from? Do you These want to tell the people? These are coming from the Apple podcast. We still have five out of five stars. We have 655 ratings. This is pretty incredible. Wow. This one says, great podcast. I love the YouTube channel and I'm so happy there is a podcast. I can't believe this is an iPad Pro. Oh, well, so here's the thing. We have upgraded but I believe that this podcast, you're probably listening to the one that was from the iPad Pro. The iPad was the inspiration for this podcast for me because whenever the new iPad Pro came out, Apple showed this showcase of all the things that you can do on your iPad. And I was like, you're saying I can do all these things, let me see. And so, it sounded really good too. I was so impressed. We both recorded them on separate iPads using the hype mic and I, it was great. It was pretty cool. But then we quickly realized that we need different gear if we really want to make this all happen. So we do have a roadcaster. I do have an unboxing and kind of a setup of this, of our new studio. If you guys want to check that out on YouTube, youtube.com slash iJustine. I'm so excited. Roadcaster actually sent us this. They did. And I'm so incredibly appreciative because everything was all sold out. It was. And like, this is just so much easier where we can just kind of sit down. It's all set up. We're not really touching it other than minor adjustments here and there. And this is making it a lot easier, especially for Tyler, because uh, I just sit down and talk. So I don't really do anything. <laughs> but for Tyler, it's making it a lot easier. I just want to say Tyler has been working so hard on making sure every time we do this, that it looks perfect. And nobody has seen any of the episodes because I have yet to post them on YouTube. So I just want to say that I'm going to go on the record and say this episode is on YouTube. It will be seen. What's the link? I don't know because YouTube, I don't even know how to, there's no youtube.com slash something. Like you have to get so many subscribers before you can change the name. I felt like, I felt like I was 95 years old. Well, you are. And trying to figure In out YouTube how- years. Exactly, so. trying to make a YouTube channel because it's all so different. <laughs> I was like, what it do, how do I make the chance? How I do I- your hand. It's okay, they can see it. Well, they can now. They can see it, because this is being seen. Yeah, it's weird. I, I mean, I haven't made a YouTube channel in 10 years, so. It's very crazy. So we have a channel, but then I think I accidentally made 14 other ones. <laughs> Just trying to make the other This ones. is like that, so. uh, what happened with that other thing that they did, the Google? Uh, what was that? Back to the reviews, oh, we got no, we uh We should talk about it. We don't. It was I called. I can't remember what the heck it was called. Well, there's a, there's a couple things. So there was Google Wave. No. No, but that, that wasn't it. Um, 
circle no oh my was it circle no you had to connect to your youtube with what was it oh my god it ruined everything it, it, it did absolutely ruined it everything was terrible oh, I have hiccups. <laughs> uh, anyway um, we're gonna think about it go back to the it's your turn to do an audio message what was it called? what was it called i'm gonna google oh this oh my i don't even know what to Google's call it's not gonna call themselves out what was it it was uh, called Google Nightmare. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Okay. For so, oh, oh my gosh, we have one. Hello, Jenna and hi, Justine. That's me. Great fan. Great fan. You no, know, you guys sound great. Oh, hey, oh thank, thank you, you, Justin. We almost have the same name. Do you know how many times over the course of my life that I have mm -hmm. been Justin? Yes, most of the time. Most of the time, because Justin. J U S T I N. It's weird that like a lot of forms would cut off at six letters, right? What? Like most people, they do. They do because a lot of times that's why they weren't able to put the, the E in my name because they would run out of characters. Most people's names. What do you think the average name is in character length? Six. That's probably right, right? <laughs> probably, right? <laughs> average well, name character length. What's mine? Jenna, in five. the US. Oh, guess what? It's six. six letters. It's six. We just That's looked insane. it up. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Length is six letters and two syllables. Justine. Jenna. Jenna. Jen Jenna. Tyler. Yeah. Matt T. He's a dog. <laughs> yeah, well, he's getting college application emails. He got asked if he's registered to vote. He I is. I said he's a dog. He. Every day, oh my God, I get these emails from like this university that's like, Matthew, we are so excited to offer you the opportunity to come check out this university. Is it a scholarship? I mean, accept it. Accept it. Maddie going to college. <laughs> oh my God. I, he can't go to college. I would be so sad. He's so. And he's a, he's a dog. He's so sweet. He, well, there is a little kitty that is next door. <gasps> no that, way. Yeah, it's like new. It's just like it started appearing and he will just look outside. And he starts just looking like, what's this? Every day I just see him looking out there, looking for the kitty. He knows the word kitty, but he's never had like a real interaction with one only because like, I'm kind of scared. You know, they've got claws and he, he's just gentle. And he he's can got, get he can get, his little eyes could get scratched, but he's like obsessed with them. He always tries to like find the street kitties. And yeah. they're like crossing, he's like, get me, I gotta get to that cat. I mean, he saw like our friends' cats, but like we didn't let them get too close to each other, but he just, he loves them. He's obsessed with them. We need to insert this right here. I will show it to you. You already saw it, but Maddie stole a piece of bread from out in the backyard. So there's squirrels. There used to be like a squirrel bread. nest. I don't know if, the, I mean, I think they're still there. There's so many squirrels. A lot but of they squirrels. bring food what and they're like munching on the fence and then they accidentally drop it. Or maybe they are doing what? it on purpose That's and dropping it on purpose for Maddie. I just, he comes running in with this oh bread, but I didn't see him come in with the bread. bread. And then he went upstairs no with the bread back. and he was like oh trying to bury it. Uh, yeah, and then he's oh running around the house. And then he comes downstairs, stares at me with the bread. And I go, what do you have in your mouth? <laughs> I was like, that's a piece of bread. And that's not a type of piece of, that's not a type of bread that is in my house. That is not my bread. That's I just can't imagine- Stranger bread. Why a wild animal would bring bread. Like, you know what I mean? Like they it's would- an offering of why? sorts. Wouldn't they want to keep it for themselves? Well, yeah, like I mean, life's maybe, tough out there as a squirrel. It's not that tough. There's trash all over the street. There's full meals on the corner of True. the street. Didn't it, they have to redo your wires because the squirrels ate through them? Was it your cable? Yeah. Yeah. How could you eat? I don't understand how that would be good. Eating a wire? Well, they're just chewing like a snack. No, absolutely not. Okay, we got distracted again. Um, this one says, um, hi, I think y'all are doing an awesome job doing your podcast. Love watching you on YouTube and Twitch. Justine, I have two questions. Are you repainting your house? Yes. What is your book about? Thanks, love your videos. You guys me. stay safe and wear your masks. We we have been wearing our masks. The book is about me. The book is about you and it's your about life. about me. Yep. You probably it. should write a new one. Lot we lot. haven't, oh my God. I, mm. Wear your masks. Speaking of, someone came to install something today and I let the first person in, had a mask on, opened the door and went to a different room. When I looked around the corner, the other person didn't have a mask on. Offended. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, you're already in my house. What do I do? I didn't, I like, I felt so violated. That's a violation of your of your cleanliness. I didn't even know what to do. I, I didn't want to like, be like, hey, why don't you have a mask on? Because then I was like, if he doesn't wear a mask, he could be crazy. He could assault me. I'm just going to let you do your business. And then I Cloroxed everything but i was so but there's like a professional came yeah. to my house what if i was you know like a compromised what if you 
had the vid and well, I he met, like, now got it because but he but also you got to think of it both ways no, like what know? if i was like immune Im, Im, immunocompromised i can't ever Im, say that word i know i can't say it immunio immuno immuno immunocompromised immune what if you i don't know were I susceptible just, no yeah. i mean he doesn't know and like i don't want to make assumptions but this person was carrying very heavy you know things and like seemed like he was in good health once again don't want to make an assumption i just was like mm, you're you're being a little bit disrespectful or I'd be like, Hey, I can't wear a mask. Like, is it okay if I come in? Like nothing, just, just slimy human came in with his slime and was sliming all over the place. And I was like, Oh, so I mean, yes, I we have him wearing a mask. I feel like we have like beat this whole mask thing to death. I mean, yeah. at this point it's like, you're just being kind to people around you because you don't know what someone else is going through. Yeah. You don't know what their problem is. I have um, one of my friends, they posted something and they were talking about how I didn't even know that they had some sort of a heart uh, problem and that they are very susceptible. And it's like, when you look at this person, you would never mm -hmm. think that they have anything wrong with them. And and I think that's what this really is. Like, it's not a political thing. It's mm -hmm. just being respectful to other people. And when I walk the dog, I will wear a mask. And then if there's no people around, I'll take it down. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I see somebody in the distance, like yeah. I put it on, like yeah. you can do that and still kind of, you know, not wear it, but also wear it. Yeah, same. That's why like you're going into someone's house as a professional, I was like, oh, especially like they're going into other people's houses and like doing this. I was just so taken back. I was like, I don't even know how to act. I was like, I'm about to take away that water I gave you just because oh I'm mad. But I was just like, wow, this is so weird. But anyway, um, I so crazy. Um, I was shooting something the other day that was, I mean, it was all very extremely socially distanced, but it was still like in an outdoor area and uh, I was with some people that I didn't really know, but everything was socially distanced. Everybody had masks on and I was just doing something. Anyway, the the point of this is I forgot how to be a person. Yeah. I was, cause like I'm around Jenna and I'm like around Tyler all the time. Like I'm around like people that I like know- Like your close that, friends, yeah. And we're in like this quarantine circle for the past six months. I forgot how to talk. Like I was saying the dumbest stuff and then I'm sitting here as I'm like, as they're talking to me, I can't focus on what they're saying because I was thinking about how stupid I sound. I was like, uh, do, how are, hello? <laughs> well, the uh, good news is I realized I was socially awkward about a year ago. So I think you're just now coming to terms with it. No, I mean, like I always knew that I was a little bit, I'm definitely an introvert, but like now it's really set in because normally I'm pretty good at just like faking that like I'm cool or maybe oh. I'm not. I thought that about myself. And then I realized that I was having a lot of awkward interactions <laughs> and I was the only common denominator. And I was like, I am awkward. I was like, wow, I don't really know how to feel about this. I am awkward. So now it's like, yeah, going in. But see, I wouldn't talking, think that you were. Yeah, you're too close to it. Uh, too close to it. Too close to it, man. I'm just like, <laughs> like, why would I ask you about like a potato? I don't know. It's just like dumb things. I'm like, why did I say that? Why? I, I don't know. And why? I think, I mean, sometimes I just, I get stuck on a loop. Jenna's very Ugh. familiar with this, where I will <laughs> just repeat anything that anyone says. <laughs> it's like, I won't even realize, like she'll be saying something. So for example, say- I'm like, like, oh, this is a tomato. This is a tomato. Tomorrow is tomorrow. Tomorrow is tomorrow. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm like, why are you repeating me? <laughs> I don't <laughs> like, know. Like, have your own thoughts. And you're like, I have no idea why. But well, I, I feel like I have to put so much energy into some things that I don't have any more left over for stuff. There was this, I've seen this so many times where they talk about like introverts that they have like, it's like the spoon thing, like the spoon method or something. Have you heard this? No. So like a person only has so many spoons. So, so you got a couple spoons sitting here. So picture the spoons. So like if I have to shoot a video that might take three of my spoons. That's all my energy. And then I have two spoons left. Why so, is it a spoon? I don't know. I hate that So then that I have one so more much. spoon. Dude, I hate that so much. So then I have to do a conference call. That's one more spoon. And then I also have to have an interaction with a neighbor unexpectedly. Why can't you just That's have like normal, spoon. like like a battery? Like you have five bars. Dude, I have no you idea. You do not need, I hate this. Unless the spoon analogy is something different. I think you're it tearing, is. You're doing a terrible job. No, there's, it means it's something else. It does actually have something. So, okay. It's a spoon theory. Okay. Okay. I just don't know if your explanation was. No, the, my explanation is not very good, but it is an actual thing. So it's okay. So it's a spoon theory for depression and anxiety. Okay. And so it, it, it really does make sense in 
like, but it could be anything. Like, yeah. okay, I have like this basket of marbles. So I only have so, so now many. we have a basket of marbles. I'm just, I don't know. No, I, I understand. I mean, I feel the same way. There's days like I woke up today. We had to wake up super early because we had a really early call and we had to post a video at uh, like 6 a.m. And so we did that. Then it's like 7.30. I was like, well, I might as well like go work out now. I worked out for an hour and a half. And then by 9 a.m., I was like, I think all of my energy is gone. By so, 9 yeah. a.m. Your so, Jenna's spoons so were gone. So my spoons were taken. They were gone. My spoons were gone. My marbles were emptied from the basket. And I'm like, how? I've only done like three things. It's only 9 a.m. Like, why is all my energy gone? No, I mean, I think it makes sense that I am just curious because I don't know anything different. Like, that's how it's mm-hmm. always been. So I can't even imagine like just being able to just go, go, go and exist and not feel like you're going to just die at the end of the day. So this is the spoon theory for a mom with anxiety and depression. One spoon, get out of bed, get dressed, unload the dishwasher, start laundry, read. That would be like four spoons for me. Oh my God, I know. Two spoons, make and eat meals, get the kids dressed. Three spoons, play with the kids, light housework, pay bills. Four spoons, call someone, go to church, play, serious cleaning, homeschooling. I mean, it really does make sense. It doesn't have to be spoons. It can be anything. I think it's just like where you're allotting your energy and yeah, man, it's it's tough. Like this is so, the duo video we shot for one day and mm-hmm. I was so prepared for this video. I had, I never script my videos, but I knew that I didn't have a lot of time. So the night before I scripted everything. Next day I edited everything we shot day one and then, or no wait, so we no, no, I actually lost the whole script. I wrote it the oh, night before. Yeah. Oh, I woke God. up the next morning, Tyler's here, we're ready to shoot. And I was like, this is gonna, this is gonna take like 15 minutes. I have everything scripted. I'll be able to read this. It's great. Uh, Gone. It's 2020. I don't know how it happened. I was using um, this online oh, no. saver thing or whatever. <laughs> I, was like, I don't even know. It was online just, saver well, thing. Well, because I was writing on a PC. So I was like, okay, I'm going to write this here and then I'm going to save it to my Mac. But it overwrote the original document because I didn't actually save it in the new names. <laughs> so this oh is a complete, like, God. this is a real Mac user problem. And I. We'll never do that again, but I lost yeah, the whole script. Yeah, because it literally just like auto saves. Yeah, but it auto saves. So I opened up I another know, document. It auto saved over the document that actually was important. So it was- But yeah, I mean, even that, ugh. like I didn't even write anything out, but just shooting that video one day, I was like, okay, I shot everything. And then I had to go and edit. And then while I was editing, I was like, well, now I need to make sure that I can have enough time for the next day to shoot anything I missed and edit again. And like, this just, I spent like three days just on yeah. one video. And I'm like, this is crazy. And it wasn't even like, I I should have probably spent a week on it, but I just like, I ran out of time. And it's just so exhausting, especially being on camera, trying to say all the right things, make sure the camera's in focus, get the shots and then editing. And then like, I'm so tired. Like I went to bed at nine o'clock the one day. I mean, I went to bed. I see. So I think the day before we shot for a couple of hours, most of the stuff. So then I took all that. I edited in the morning until Tyler came over around three and then we shot all the pickup shots and then I had to edit until like 1 a.m. And then I, oh my God, I woke up this morning, everything was uploaded, ready to go for a 6 a.m. post time. And I just watched it 10 minutes before I was ready to post. Oh, there was a render error. Well, it's funny. Cause I was actually going to wake up and watch it. I was like, I'll just watch it once through. I'll, I'll set my alarm for 20 minutes before I watch it. And that's what I did too. So I, I could have had the same issue, but oh my God. I didn't thankfully. And it was in the intro too. So I, oh. it was, not, Not good. good. All right, so let's talk about some other things. So yeah, should we talk about the Surface Duo? I like the Surface Duo. I like it. it a lot. The reviews are very mixed. I think most people think that the hardware is incredible, which it is. Mm-hmm. The software, it's it's buggy. It's laggy. Mm-hmm. It's it's running last year's you know specs as far as the processor, but I mean it still is pretty impressive as far as like what it can do. Like I've been having so much fun with it. I love the Duo, the app, um, the app. Uh, what's it called? Where, where it opens up two apps at the same time? I'm not sure. App. What? I don't know. Where it opens up two apps? Yeah, but there's a name. It's called. A, a, there is a name. I've what's said it called? 50 times. I've said it probably like four times. Oh, oh my, my gosh. But basically, goodness. grouping. Is it called app groups? I think it sounds like it should be. App app groups. It's really cool because you can group your apps so that it will open whatever you set to open on one side of the screen and then the other app will open on the other side of the screen. We were trying to app pick. No, why can't I think of what it's called? Either way. I think it's called Jenna just said. That's what you do. I think it is actually called group. I thought it was something a little more intense. No. No, it's not. But either way, it's cool. It is really cool. We were trying to come up with some really fun pairings. Ooh. I opened Disney Plus and Netflix at the I same time. I saw, I was watching your video. But have you, did you watch two videos at the same time? I didn't, I didn't log in because I couldn't remember my password. No, so no, no, I, I mean like up. I was watching TikTok and I was watching Instagram and I had a YouTube down in picture in picture. Oh yeah. And you can hear, 
I actually don't know if you could hear three of the audios, but I heard two of them. Hmm. And I was like, this is chaotic. I didn't try the picture in picture. How'd that work? Great. Cool. It was, it was a surprise. I didn't even know it was a thing. It just kind of popped down there. And I was like, I'm watching three different video That's contents at the same time. Crazy. I was like, my brain is like, it's everywhere right now. I was like, this is taking all my spoons. Jenna's spoons are gone. My spoons were gone. They were out the window. Gone. Yeah, I think some of the comments that I was reading on my video is people were kind of, I mean, they were excited that I think we both did a lot of real world testing. Like we went out, we tried it. Whereas I feel like uh, a lot of, well, not like traditional, but I mean, there's a lot of the YouTuber tech people, like my friends, like they've all done reviews. But I feel like a lot of like traditional journalists were just kind of trying to like find everything possible wrong with it. For sure. But that's, I mean, I, I mean that's a part of it. I, I am enjoying it. I was surprised by how light it was and how thin. It's really great. Because I was always, like, every time I would watch, like, when back in October when we were at a physical event in New York. Oh, I'm shuddering. And they announced it. Like, I was like, oh, it looks kind of big. Like, it just, I don't know. It just looked big. And when I first un- opened it and held it, I was like, this is light. This is a nice feel to it. Very small. I feel like, I don't, I, I think that we had hands on there. I didn't. You, I don't think you did. You, you might have. I a, did. Did you get a secret touch? I did get a secret she touch. She got a secret touch? Yeah, I did. Now I'm like, I was like, did I Did I make that up in my I mind? I can't believe or was you that got a real? secret touch. Yeah, I mean, we had, we basically, I don't even think we're a lot of, yeah, we touched it and then gave it back. So I was like, bye. Wow. But it was cool. I think my favorite part is really the hinge. I mean, the hardware is great. I think what they're doing with it, the next gen is going to be amazing. The yeah, camera really cool. is and not good at all. I think it's not great. I was joking. I was like, it's not quite a potato, but like maybe like a little spud. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're not buying it to replace your mirrorless, your DSLR camera. Yeah, but like, it'll be fine. If you need to take calls, you want to make a video, you want to use Google Duo, you want to do a video call, like it's fine. The audio on the video was good. It was good. I was impressed. It was pretty good. The color balancing in the video, not so good. Were you outside? I was outside. It's a little weird out now. It's, it's the entire California, the state of California is in a very, very bad state of white balance. I can't even explain it. I was driving on the highway and I'm like, this looks like an apocalypse. It's, it's just, weird. it's like if you took that, you know, the warming and you put it all the way to like the yellow, it That's looks what it terrible. Is. And it's so weird. Here, it's not even as bad as some places. Like I've been seeing photos from Oregon. Oh my gosh, San Francisco. San Francisco, just, it really does look apocalyptic. It's insane. <clears throat> and there was it's an article crazy. that Tyler sent. It was talking about the smartphone cameras are not able to really comprehend mm-hmm. the look. I, I was reading that, yeah. Which we were talking about this. I think I edited it out of my review, but I was like, oh wow, this picture actually looks a lot better on the Duo because the Duo was overcompensating for the white balance, whereas the iPhone has a higher quality camera. So it was actually more true to life. I was like, oh, this looks all yellow. Look at the Duo, did a great job I mean, balancing. Like I took, did this picture come out? Uh, like, look at this picture I took today. I'll, it will be up oh, here. Wow. Like, it's just so bad, but like even the sun, like I've seen TikToks so are like, is this the sun? Is this the moon? They're like, what's happening right now? Like things just look so, weird and it's really really sad usually where i live it's pretty far from fires and even in the past when we were having really bad fires in la i would never get any like ash and like barely any smoke and when i woke up and there was ash on like my patio i was like oh okay this is bad like, walking this, maddie this morning i was yeah. like i'm wearing my mask for another reason because it's terrible out here yeah i um i put like um these filters I manually put in more filters in like my mask. I was like, no, I need to like filter out all this air because it's bad. really, really bad. It's very sad. I uh, have a, you also have it, the Dyson mm. air purifier. I have a lot of air purifiers. I have one that's the Dyson, it's a humidifier and also a little air conditioner. And a heater. Nice. A heater too? Yeah. Oh my God, I, I was that. talking to dad on the way here about no it. No way. In, we were having should a we discussion. Get, should we get them one? So we're, uh, we did. We already did. Oh, we did. And it we was did. for Mother's Day gift. Do you think that they might want another for upstairs? Well, I was talking to him because their air condition broke and I was like, well, the fan does heating and cooling. He's like, yeah, but it's not like, it doesn't cool the air like an air conditioner does. I was like, it says heating and cooling. It and cools. I go, and on the remote, you can adjust the temperature. So if you put it at 70 degrees, on the blue, which is coal, I would just assume it would blow that temperature of cold air, right? I mean, I put it like it's next to my treadmill when I'm running and I turn it on. And it feels cold, but is it, yes. is it cooling the air in the way an air conditioner does? I don't know I don't how either. an air conditioner cools the but air. That's what he's like, I don't think it really, I think it's cooling because it's a fan, but I don't think it is cooling the no. air. Well, okay, if it's blowing cold air out, 
it's cooling the air. What is this doing? But that's what I was like. This is able, blowing. This was, this was, this this was blowing me, air. This was me and dad. Yes, because that has, oh, what did he say? He said Freon. Air, yeah, he's like, well, air conditioners have Freon. I said, well, is there Freon in the fan? He goes, I don't know. I just really don't. Ah, ah. She, I hit that. she has hurt herself. I was like, well, it's it's able to produce actual heat. And he's like, yeah, because there's coils. I was like, oh, I don't know the answer. So it's I cold. I was like, look. The air's cold. I was like, look, the air conditioner, if you went out, just put put the air down and sit in front of the cold if air. I don't know. you sit in front of it, you're going to get chilly. <laughs> I don't know. It was like, we literally just had this discussion when I was driving well, here. I think what he's saying is this has the... I mean, this has the capacity to cool a huge- A huge room. Room, whereas yes. this is like, it's gonna cool the vicinity and maybe yeah. you. Well, that's oh my what God, I was... I, I'm getting a phone call. Is it spam? Uh, no, it's probably something that I'm supposed to do that I haven't done I hate because when that I happens. am I Well, am we're already trouble. at 27 minutes. Yeah, today- We're talking about I on. just wanna say for about three weeks, I have probably felt the worst that I've ever felt. You in... had a rough time, not gonna lie. So like this week, I, I finally started feeling better. I've limited myself to one coffee and one Yerba. I was drinking like two or three coffees yeah, and two bad. Yerbas a day. The sugar content was ridiculous. I was Very not, bad. I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. I just I feel good to today. Say, I'm in good spirits, which is rare. Very rare. Oof. Um, Oof. I've only, I've got some uh, small injuries. I forgot to talk about it last week. I have locked jaw now. Jenna has T TMJ, is that uh, what is it? Lock TMJ, Lockjaw, I don't know, man. Some, I a TMJ, is it also Lockjaw? I'm not sure, we can pretty look sure, it up. Pretty sure it's TMJ because I think it was, um, I think I had been chewing too much gum. Mm. And well, on my stream, I was talking about it and a lot of people were like, I have the exact same symptoms and I have TMJ. I was like, well, what do you do for it? And like, nothing. nothing. I'm like, Okay. So this can occur when something goes wrong with your jaw joints, jaw muscles. Often this happens because of a jaw injury, inflammation, such as arthritis or overuse. Maybe you've eaten too many snacks. So I've been eating a lot of candy, a lot of snacks and way too much gum. I would probably, like if I was doing a two hour stream, I would probably eat 20 pieces of gum during that stream. Just yeah. chomping. So gum oh, is probably, I, I mean, gum will probably hurt your jaw, but like sugar is so, so bad. And I have to stop eating it because it is, there's such a direct correlation to how I feel depending on how much sugar I've eaten a few days prior. Like I can eating, literally track it to it. I've been eating nothing but sugar for like a month. I need help, but yeah. I can't because I'm I'm addicted to it. So I need help. And then my friend Sean bought me like a hundred pounds of candy. So that Ugh. hasn't been helping. So Thanks, I have Sean. carpal tunnel, but because of the sugar, it like it's now that I've stopped eating it and I've done like just some some, some exercises, like it's feeling better but it was the most painful thing ever. Like I couldn't even pick anything up. I couldn't even use my mouse Ew. or like my trackpad. So like editing was so painful. I, I was like- I just don't think it's the sugar's fault. Sugar is a direct correlation to inflammation. I know, I love sugar so much. It's so good, but yeah, it's, I'm right, saying it's that's, bad. It's, it, it, it aggravated it, but also it could be this. I was gonna tweet this, but I didn't. I was like, people might not get it. I was like, I can't tell if my wrist is injured from knife training or final cut editing. It's hard to tell. I think it could be a combination of both. I'm showing, Jenna's showing I'm, me I a small knife. I presented her a small knife. Is this I the actually, Punisher one? Yeah, this I got was it, mine from a long time um, ago. I bought it for you for your birthday like three years ago, but yeah. then I took it back. So now it's mine. This has a nice, well, it's a very smooth open. It did have a smooth open, but then it's- So been, we're not, we yeah. have other things to talk about. Okay, you're right, back. you're right. Okay, but it's a very nice knife. Every time I come over here, I feel like I always have to open boxes and I can never find a knife. So I brought my own. But yet I yours? have so many. It's weird. It's okay. crazy. The, on the list. TMJ, Peloton. Jenna has TMJ. I have TMJ, it uh -huh. hurts. I did it to myself. Sugar, Peloton. Too much candy, too much sugar. Peloton has announced some exciting things this week, which is funny because a couple weeks ago I tweeted, I want to get a treadmill, don't say Peloton. My first reasoning was Peloton. The struggle that I had. The struggle that you have and it's just too big. It's like a 500 pound treadmill. In case you don't know what the struggle was because of COVID, originally when you signed up to get the treadmill, they would move they would disassemble the treadmill and then move it for you, I think, but they still charge you like $250. They still charge you? Oh, yeah. so they were like, no, 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 we're no, no. gonna do this for you, but yeah, we're also, you know. I, I mean, think, I get that, that makes fine. sense. Cause I had to pay somebody else to do it anyway, but that voids your warranty. So I think they charge, I think it's like 150 or something to move it from a room to room and then 250 to disassemble and 250 to reassemble. But I mean, oh my God. I, I don't, I'm not, don't quote me. I'm not hundred percent sure. Quoting it. Don't quote, don't quote, but I they do it. charge you to move it. But because of COVID, they didn't have any practices into place to do my said move that I needed to move it. So I had to have somebody come and disassemble it. And thankfully this guy was awesome, reassembled, no problems. And I was very grateful, but they now, I have hiccups. But the problem what, with, that I was having with that is if you were ordering a treadmill, they were still delivering them, going to your home, setting them up. 
So it's not like they had everything on hold. They're like, oh, well, no, if you're buying it, like we will still happily deliver and install. But if you're moving, oh, sorry, too bad. They did just start that week that I needed it. Moved. Well, they just started. They but just they, started that week. What were they doing the previous five months? Not selling treads. Okay, that's fine. That's yeah. fair. So no, it was like that week they just started it. So they didn't have the procedure to move, but they were just getting the procedures in place to install it because it's a, it's a big it's treadmill. Massive. I mean, it is like 500 pounds. I thought these people were going to pass out trying to like move it from one place to the other. It's huge. And that's and why I was like, I love the Peloton. I love everything about it, but like, I don't want this massive treadmill because honestly the screen is also too big. It's just too big. I like it. It's, too, I like, it's like, it. like so in your face. I'm like, it's like if you're at a movie theater and you're in the front row, it's not necessary. Well, I'm, I mean, I do have space for it. So if you don't have space it's it's big yeah and then okay anyway so they just recently announced the new bike they call it the tread plus bike plus i think you know the tread plus is now Not the, tread the plus, original one the bike plus yeah so bike plus is the new bike which is kind of confusing because they named the old tread the the tread, the tread plus. plus and then the new tread is smaller but it's also a little bit wider it's a half an inch wider it's but like 10 inches it's much shorter shorter and four the length Four inches shorter, six inches shorter. It's or just smaller. It's, it's smaller, but it's half an inch wider. It also looks like the belt is different. So Ooh. the tread plus, the one that I have, is like the slatted, the slats. Yeah. So that's. I mean, I'm not sure what this one's like. They said it's it's supposed to be equally easy on your joints, which is why I could never usually do running before. Mm -hmm. But now with the that type of tread that has like those slats, it's so easy. On and your then joints. what was the pricing? It was like twenty. 2300 let me, let me look it up between 23 to 2500 what's interesting is that with the new bike they did um bring the original bike cost down but with the treadmill they left that treadmill which was i think like started at 4200 they left that at 4200 that's a very expensive price it's very expensive like why would anyone be like yeah i'm gonna buy that instead of the one i mean maybe there's d different advantages i just feel like i can't well, they haven't, of I feel like they haven't really done a good comparison yet of between the two. Yeah, so, okay. I guess they haven't. So the original Peloton bike is eighteen ninety five, which now. used to be twenty two forty five. Mm -hmm. So the new bike is now twenty four ninety five, and it has a swivel out screen, which mm -hmm. at first Jenna was like, why would you want that? I was like, no, 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 this, this No, this no, thing. I understand, but I feel like over the year, over the years, over the past six months, I've been so accustomed to just using my TV or like using my app. Exactly. Yeah, Instead of sure. like, I don't know. I would like, I have the original bike. I wouldn't be like, yeah, I'm going to buy this brand new bike just so I can swivel my screen. I'm like, nah, I'm just going to turn my TV on. Do they do trade-ins? So they do. They will do trade-ins for up to $700 of your oh, old bike. But you know what else is really nice about the new bike is it does auto resistance. So you don't have to touch anything. I and don't, I don't like that. Oh, I'd be like, my little leggies would just be like strong. The only I do I I you know what they did recently? Well, I don't know when they actually added this because I took two years off the bike. Um, because <laughs> I don't ever listen to the instructor. Is like I'm on my phone. I'm doing other things. I just can't listen to them because it's just like too much. But they added um above like the resistance and the um what's the other thing called the output it'll say like the suggested resistance. So it would be like 50 to 60, 30 to 20. So they put that up there so that you don't have to be like, well, I don't remember what I'm supposed to be at. God, so I wish they would helpful. do that with a tread. Yeah, because I'm like, I don't know what you said. I have no idea what you said 20 minutes ago. And I mean, I'm usually listening because you have to. So I do have the uh, closed captions open so oh. I can see that. But if I'm like off in my own mind thinking about what I should be doing and I'm not, uh, I will sometimes be like, oh shoot, they just told me to increase and they don't have it. Yeah, well, that's what I like because it does. It has like in yellow what it's what they said and what they suggested. So that's a really nice so feature. Nice. It's different too on the bike because I feel like I can go on my phone and multitask. You can't really do that when you're running. You can't. I have almost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's tough. But I mean, uh, I, yeah, I don't know. The new tread's awesome. I really want to go check it out in a Peloton store. Oh, God. I mean, a store, a store. <laughs> I know it's weird. Everything is so weird. I feel like everything is just, it's still so weird. But what I'm wondering, is it just weird for us because we're not going anywhere or like literally like leaving the house or doing anything? Like, is it like this for everyone? I'm not really sure. I because don't, I, I think see, it just depends on which state. I see a lot of people having a lot of close contact parties and I'm like, Ew, weddings, it. like it's weddings. so strange because it's like, I feel like we're living so differently than like everybody else, but also our numbers us. are absolute trash here. Or are they? I don't know. I don't know what to believe. I Again. don't even know. I'm just gonna do what I'm comfortable with and that's being respectful and staying in my house. 
I got a Whole Foods. Oh, come I on, that's just what you like to do. I love. Oh, I know. Dude, it's so nice. Like, I have uh, enjoyed I like being home. Like it's been. It's I haven't been, been on a plane in almost six months. It's crazy. Wait, it's exactly six months tomorrow. Oh, should I get a cake? Oh no, sugar. Okay. Anyway, no, we can't have sugar. We need. We need to. What else we need are we talking about for what we're going to talk about next? Because I feel like it's going to be pretty big. Should you look what's next to you that you already know what's next to you? Maddie? No. Oh. Ah. Ooh. You don't have to fake the enthusiasm. Ah. So, well, I haven't seen Tyler the other one Tyler and I yet. set up this little, like, tra- was like a, a trap, but we <laughs> we were like, he tells us, like, I'm going to put the Xboxes over here on the side, and then Jenna's going to be, like, real surprised when you tell her to look, and then as soon as Jenna sat down, but she's I like, oh, to, look at this. I had, like, to move it to put my legs through the bench. It's true. Like, it was in the, if you wanted to hide it, you could have put it. Like under uh, anyway, we're gonna be talking about Tyler. You didn't do a good job no, hiding. No, Tyler, you would be terrible at hiding like Easter eggs. Or, like, do you hide, hide Easter and eggs? Go seek. Anyway, he's not commenting. <laughs> I think he's chewing a, a crunchy snack. What do you have over there? Gum. Okay. TMJ. Don't do. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my god! All right. I feel it so silly. What do so you, bring the up, Xbox. Bring it up. Which one? Both. Small boy, big. Bring boy. them both. Xbox Series. X and Xbox Series S oh are here. God. So um, somebody tried to sass me on Twitter saying- Sass them back. I did. I don't normally sass back, but I was like, I I'm in a mood today and you put me in one. They're like, quit acting like you have something special and amazing. <laughs> Make sure you disclose that those aren't real. I was like, dude, give me five seconds. I'm writing my follow-up post dude, let me of tell a video you, that I had to edit. Let me tell you who they can tweet that to. All right, so in front of us, we have- a, um, what are we gonna call this? It's a, it's I mean, a prototype. That's good, yeah. It says it on the back. I mean, they're basically just like display units. So there's nothing inside. They are not functional, but they are life-size. So for those of you guys that are listening to the audio, how would we describe? So the, the um, how do okay, we well, even- let's talk about it. So Xbox recently came out and we're like, yes, we had, well, they announced the Xbox Series X. A while ago. A like while last ago. I mean, like last E3. Two E3s ago? Two, two E3s Maybe? ago. Two E3s ago, they said holiday 2020 Xbox Series X. But what they didn't tell us about was the surprise of Xbox Series S. Small boy. It Very is small. their smallest Xbox to date. And it is actually all digital, correct? Yeah, and it's cool because I feel like, I mean, there's such a huge misconception, I mean, in video, like especially like posting and, and content with like having 4K content. Most people can't even view it. Let's, let's be real. Yeah. Most people's displays can't. So the Xbox Series S, what's the price, 299? Yes, it is starting at uh, 299. What I like too is that they're able to have, um, they're selling it as like a, not like a payment, but like a bundle type of thing. So well, let me see my notes here. Well, it's nice because they're releasing these both at the same time. Yes. Because a which, lot of times <gasps> what happens is the, the big boy will come out, everybody's hyped, they buy that one, and then maybe like True. six months later, the smaller version comes out. So pre-order on September 22nd, available November 10th. Is that when Call of Duty comes out? November 10th? We talked about this before, I thought it was October. I think it comes out before. <gasps> October? I can't remember. No, it comes out before well, the console comes out. So the Series S is going to be 299 and the Series X is going to be 499. Okay, with Xbox All Access, you can get a next generation Xbox with 24 months of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate with no upfront cost for just $39.99 for 24 months for the Series X. And the same thing for the Series S, but it'll be $24.99 for 24 months. So they kind of have like a nice payment plan where not only can you get the hardware, but you're able to get the, um, the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which has access to what? hundreds of games and I'm so impressed with Game Pass because you can play on mobile, you can play on PC. Cloud gaming coming September 15th. <laughs> yeah, it's, there we go, there we go. Let's, let's, let's let it, let's, let's let it. it out. Let's hear it for Game Pass. Okay, yep, I, I said love that. it, love to see it. Also, I like that they announced, uh, one second please. Jenna holding for Jenna, holding. My phone, it's just, was, this was. 120. Frames per second support, which is pretty pretty awesome, and they do have 4K upscaling mm-hmm. and 
Oh, they also announced their partnership with EA, which means coming uh, this holiday, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and PC members will get the EA Play membership at no additional cost, which means um, you'll also have access to more than 60 of, 60 of EA's biggest and best console PC games. That's exciting. That's just more games. More I games. I don't know how to get more time because it's like right now is the I was like, it was the tech crunch, which is the website, but it's like the, the crunch time of tech. So I had so much time. I was playing so many video games, getting to stream. And now I barely have time to play games at all because of all of the content that's coming out. So I'm looking forward to the holiday season because that's when we really get to play games. Oh my gosh. I mean, November. Wow. I know it's almost here. Oh it, yeah, actually. So, so that's let's talk about almost two months out. Since we do have these physical fake devices in front of us. Physical fake, but physical fake. actual representation of what it would look like. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. So the, the, the S, let's take, the, let's look at the S. So it's interesting because they have little feet on the bottom and little on feet. one of the sides. So would you say it had little leggies? Little leggies, <laughs> I would, these are little legs. So I wouldn't because these are more like little feet because there's no leg. <laughs> Look at okay. that, feet, like feet. A, okay, all right, little feet. So I'm placing it down on the desk right now and it looks to me like a small little camping stove. It reminds me of Maddie's DJ set. It does, it also reminds me of the um, the the accessibility controller as well. Yeah. Which is kind of cool because it had like this sort of a look. It's very small. It's actually really very small. It's their, well, it's their smallest Xbox yet. Just yeah, so it's know. very small. And I like that it also has, um, oh, it's going to be optimized. Both of these will be optimized that, and have the support for smart delivery, which will automatically detect what device you're playing on. And that way it'll give you the best version of the game available. So that's pretty cool. It's cool. And I love white consoles oh God, so much. So they look so sleek. This I'm, is tiny. I know, I'm wondering, I mean. Like a loaf of bread. Like I like the, I like this. I wonder if there's, I bet there, I bet people are gonna do some really cool like skins for this. Well, or like, I mean, this is, Obviously this is important because this is airflow, but I feel like there's a way that they could do that, that you could have like custom things. Can I saw Elgato. And like spray Did, paint it? Probably. I saw Elgato. Oh, don't do that. Don't, no, don't, do don't, that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Uh, Elgato posted like with their logo on it. It looked really cool. Oh man. I mean, you know, Xbox always does all types of cool integrations where they do like custom Xboxes. And remember you made your own custom Xbox? I did. You designed it. I remember you worked so hard on I that. I spent so much time. I mean, I used, uh, you know, inspiration from another camo thing, um, like graphic that I found, but I went in and edited every single piece of that, laid it all out in Illustrator, retraced everything. And it looks like very simple, but I was like, I made this myself. I, I remember this. because I was like, yo, you, this is due. You gotta, you gotta turn and this And they in. were like, no, we can have somebody else do it for you. Like, I was like, no, no I will do it. do it. I also like that with both of the consoles, they have support for um, the Seagate storage expansion cards where you can add an additional one terabyte of storage with the full speed and performance of the Xbox Velocity architecture. Very nice. So this goes up to 512 gigs, I believe for the Series S. That's gonna go quick. So you, I feel like you're prop, well, I mean, the good news is everything is saved in the cloud. So if you aren't playing Is games, it? yeah. Well, I mean like all your status for things, you That's, know? Oh yeah, yeah, so you don't status, have to, you don't, status. Because like before, if, like a long time ago, if you didn't have, your save game locally, gotcha. you're, that's gone. For sure, yeah. But like now, uh, that's all changed. But I mean, um, I think people's complaints were like, oh, but this is digital, it's, you know, you can't have a disc, like that's gonna go quickly. I it haven't can, touched a disc in so long. Me either. Like there's, it's, I mean, I know that people like to have those just because of the resale value. Mm -hmm. But I just, it's just such an inconvenience. For sure. And it's like, at least you can buy, you know, the expansion card if you want, but you can always just delete and just- and Game Pass. You don't yeah, ever have game, to buy a game really ever true. again. Game Pass, you just download it. Does it download? No, yeah, no, it downloads. Yeah. It doesn't say just stream it. No, it downloads, well, xCloud streams, but- X, Yeah, true, um, so, but it downloads it. I do want to talk about the Whoops. Series X though. Oh God, yeah. Somebody, this was like my, my favorite tweet that I got that somebody was trying to be a hater. They're like, it looks so ugly. I'm like, it's literally a black box. There is, there could, this is so, <laughs> uh, this is so Sharp nonchalant. Like it's, it's, you could just put this anywhere. You wouldn't even know what it is. Like this isn't even. If someone's like, it looks like a box of cereal. I go, well, what do you want it to look like? They what go, do you want? They go, Let's... well, not a box of cereal. I'm like, then, then don't get it. Are any <laughs> industrial designers out there make a better one? 
You're, okay. You don't have to get it. Honestly, How often do you look at your Xbox? Mine is under- Okay, mine's not because mine's pink and beautiful. It's true, but like mine right now, I've done some relocating and like mine is literally on a shelf that's like has where my, my PlayStation, my Xbox, and my PC. I don't even see it unless I'm turning it on. It, most people don't. It's inside of something. But I mean, this, I like, I have- I'm not compl- like it's it's fine. You can customize. You can put stickers on it. Like it's it's actually smaller than I thought. Originally, when they announced it, um, I think because people kept doing so many memes of it, making it into a refrigerator and yeah. putting like Aaron Greenberg on top. Oh of my it. god! Why was Aaron Greenberg I don't on top know. of it? It was like one of the memes that they just kept like pos- like passing around. So. It's like, I thought this was gonna be a lot larger. So when I actually saw it here, other than I've seen it on like some people's videos where they had, uh, I think Austin, he actually had one. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, now that it's here, I mean, it actually does, it does look like a little refrigerator. I think that's probably the best. So now we have our little refrigerator and we've got our little camping stove. I like it. I like it too. I like the top of it, how it kind of brings back like the old school yes. Xbox looks with like the green on the inside. It just looks really cool. Also, let's just think about what a PC case looks like. Oh, are we gonna well, go criticize well, 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 a wait, normal well, PC case? Well, wait a minute. When I look at PCs, usually I'm like, yeah, you look, well, it's all, well, no, but it's I'm all saying the guts in the PC. Like a standard good. PC case. Like this is what it, it's just like, it's a very, it's just a, a normal, look like there's yeah like you can't even say that it's ugly because it's literally a black box and i'm sure like this is like they're probably gonna come out with like a white yeah. one or like a like, oh, like a you different know, one you know they're definitely gonna come out with some they crazy probably already have things. it we don't know but this it's this is fine think about the last the xbox uh one x like it's big it was just big like, boy thick. well the original one oh well, well, the not, first one not the xbox one x wait there's so one x many what was the last xbox well, they had the Xbox, Xbox One S. Xbox One. No, no, no. Xbox One. And then they did the Xbox One X. And then I thought they did S. The, they came out, they had an S. S that was, was smaller. S, they had the S, but S wasn't, what was S after X? Oh my God. There's, I think the last Xbox though was like the Xbox One X. And it was the basic black. Like yeah. this texture. It's a look. It's just what it looked like. I mean, God, I'm so confused how many look Xboxes the, there are. Let's look up Xbox console history. Give me the timeline. Well, there's so many. And also a lot of times we will get the custom ones in and it's just, it's overwhelming. I had like, okay. yeah, so I had the custom Gears of War. That's my favorite one. Xbox One S. And then I now have the custom latest Gears of War, Xbox One X, but I also have the black one, which is great because I use that for upstairs gaming now on my new 8K gaming TV, Braggy. Oh my God, what is this gonna so, look like? I mean, honestly, if you're looking through sort of like the history of what Xbox consoles originally look like, like it fits in with their look. It does. Oh, that's like the first, so the first Xbox with that green on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's yeah, it's a nice like, little throwback. It has like the nice little green on the top of it through like the, oh wow, I'm, I'm taking a, I'm taking a real close look through here. The original console launch price was 299. When was this? Like 1998? Uh, 2001. Same time. Oh, I was young. I, was young. I, was I remember the first time that I played Xbox. Really? I, yes. Was it a good? No, the experience was good. I was just remembering who I played it with. Ick. And in, well, yeah, it made me sad. Yeah. Okay, we don't have to talk about it. We don't have to talk about it. I'm not even it. sure what she's talking about. I unfortunately- You were too young. We weren't really friends then. So I was you 11. don't know. You don't know. Yeah, oh my God. No, I definitely would have talked about- I was going through puberty. I was have, going through a breakup. I was gonna say at 11, but I'm like, oh, no, you, were, you were older. You were 11. I was going wait, through- Wait, how old was I? No, 17. Wait. I was 17? going through puberty. Wait, in 2001? <laughs> okay, wait, no. Okay, so no, 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 no. So I was- Dude, this was after an awkward time, puberty. This was, I was in college, so this wasn't this No, wasn't you would have been 17. Well, no, but I'm not, not it, we didn't play on this one. This wasn't ah, the first one that well, I played I on. You didn't play as soon as it came out, because that no, was like No, it wasn't, of. it wasn't. It was like a big deal if people had like video games, the like consoles back in the day. Like things aren't how they are now, where we everyone's didn't. like, not everyone, but you know. I was a PC gamer in high school. Braggy, I just also, recently well, became a PC gamer. It was Nintendo and then PC, and then we also had a Dreamcast, and we also had a PlayStation oh One. Original. My first PlayStation was a PlayStation Three that I slept twenty four hours in the lawn and garden Walmart. We we slept overnight. How many? I didn't do that. It was, was twenty four. No, I wasn't. You were. You were still a kid. You were a child. I was. Li- oh. I was in college. Yeah. And then not- you know, then we ended up um, reselling it <laughs> because. I was like, I don't have a job in college and some woman in the parking lot 
like kept offering us more and more money. Then you take the money. I did. I was like, this is enough for me to live off of for the next <laughs> six months. I'm shook. <laughs> Actually, probably for a year in college. That's pretty cool. I wow. was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice. Did she give happiness. you real money? Like, literally handed cash over. It was phenomenal. Wow. I was like, well, I mean, I just, we slept outside for 24 hours. Basically. That's incredible. Yeah. So then I was like, well, I have a PC anyway. And that's what I mostly And you didn't get play. your little PlayStation. I didn't, but that's okay. Because I was able to survive for another year. So it's cool. But well, okay. So back to, back to this. So the first Xbox was November 15th, 2001. And then the Xbox 360, that's when I really started getting into Xbox. Yeah. So that was actually, it was probably, I feel like it was before that, but let's see, 2005, because yeah, that was around the time that I started sort of YouTube. Uh, I was out of college at that point. So I mean, we definitely played before that. So that was November 22nd, 2005. That console retailed for 299 as well. And then the Xbox One came out oh, November 22nd, 2013. Man, that was a Man, time. I remember that because that was the one that we used to carry around to travel. Yep, and it was huge. It was very, very, so here's, well, well, no, we used to travel with a 360 as well. No. Yes, we we I traveled with the 360. I didn't because I was only I 15. Did. Okay, it's true. You were you were still. Well, I guess if it was a couple years after, I. Well, you know what? No, I remember traveling. It was the Xbox One because it was a big boy, heavy boy. Let's go back to you that. know you, what? Wait, wait, listen, this listen. makes it way easier with the S to travel with because it's so small. But wait, 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 wait. So you're right. So the Xbox 360, we, that was like our home one yeah. because then we upgraded to the One, mm -hmm. which retailed with Connect 4.99 and 399 without the connect. And that was November 22nd, 2013. And then the Xbox One S, this is what we were talking okay. about. This is 2016. That was the all digital and yeah, well, so wait, okay, Xbox One S. Oh my God, there's guys, this is there's so overwhelming. There's so many Xboxes. I'm just, and I'm also trying to place myself at like where was I, what games were coming out at that point. So the uh, 299 was the Xbox One S with a CD drive. 249 for the all digital edition. And that came out May 7th, 2019. So Wait. that was- Oh, oh, oh. That was three years later. The digital version came that out. That was really recent. I didn't even know they had an all digital one. Yes. Did you? I did, but th that's why I was thinking that the original one was also all digital, but no. that was in huh. 2016. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't even know that they came out with- Wow. Well, that we didn't, wouldn't have needed it because we already had an Xbox. I would have so. liked to have been informed. You probably were, you I just probably, didn't know it. You definitely knew. Yeah, I definitely knew, so I just then forgot. November 7th, 2017, that was the introduction of the Xbox One X. So you you were right, yeah. Bless. That's, the, that's, that's it. I mean, I probably should have known that, but yeah. I mean, I- It's I just I too really, much. It's crazy, so there's only been five variations of Xbox over yeah, the but years. Let's think about how many variations of each console there is. I mean, there's been so many renditions. Xbox, let's see, Xbox. Oh my uh, God. Well, oh, my favorite, wow, my good. favorite 361 was the Star Wars one. So usually I'll like donate or give to friends like my older consoles as we upgrade. Oh. This one will never, ever go it's away. It's so cool. The it's sound 360. Is cool. The sounds are incredible. There's like a C3PO controller. Oh my God. It's, and then R2-D2 is the console. It's incredible. I know, I, that was also one of my favorites. I'm, I I would always look at it and press the button just to hear the little sounds. It it's was so, so cool. It's so great. It's so cool. Let's put these next to each other. I'm trying to, Xbox, what should I look up to see custom? Honestly, I don't, there's X so many, but I'm not really counting well, those as the like word? consoles. No, I'm not either, but I'm just trying uh, to just see if there's. Just custom. Um, I, when did they start? To, well, I guess they started. Special, oh, special, special edition. edition. There you go. Special edition timeline. So this is just, I'm eyeballing it. It looks like the S is like an inch shorter, maybe like an inch shorter. Oh, wait, it's the same. Out. Is it the same width? Yeah, same width. Well, it depends on which way you do width. If it's, if it's standing tall, it's the same this way. <laughs> this, yes. Because it could be length. Well, the this is a cube, is basically. This is all depth? the same. Man. This it depends how it is. So look at this. Look at You're this. You're gonna have to watch oh the God, video. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is all of the complete list of all the Xbox One consoles. No way. Oh my God. There's so many. Okay. There's actually not that many. I thought there was more, but there's still a lot. Cool. Well, so we're looking at them. The, oh, I have this one too. This is the <gasps> the Advanced Warfare Limited Edition. I remember edition. that one. So, so nice. Good. The Forza Six. Oh, didn't have that one. Spartan of Steel. Play like a pro. What's this? Halo. Oh, that's the, with one Xbox One Elite cons console. Okay. Halo one looks 
Here's the Xbox One S, which we also had. Yes, um, I, I still have one. Oh, we also had the Gears of War one as well. Oh, I love the Gears of War. Our so grandma cool. has one of the Gears of 360. War Xbox 360s. There was, I didn't even see these ones. Look at this, there's the Ocean Waves. It's a deep blue special edition. Grayscale, oh a storm gray. That's actually very storm nice. Storm gray looks good. Oh my God. The Minecraft the one. Minecraft. Absolutely just stunning. Legendary. Tools of War, this was a Battlefield edition. The Minecraft one looks like a cake. It does look like a cake. It could be a cake. Uh, so there's a back to black. There's for the fans. These are some the Scorpio edition. Oh. Uh, Medal of Honor. Oh. There's a Strikingly Pure. It's a Robot White special edition. Oh, oh this is nice. Look at this, a hyperspace. I've never seen that one. Me either. Dropping in. This is the Fortnite Battle Royale special. Man, this that one looks fun. really good too. This one, so beautiful. <gasps> Cyberpunk. The when? Cyberpunk looks incredible. When is it coming though? The game or the console? Both. The cold metal, here's the Xbox One X Gears That's 5. That's the one I'm currently using. It's so nice. For my gaming. I switched back to my custom pink one. Probably should, probably Cause should. it's really cool. Yeah, Cyberpunk. Oh man, we need Cyberpunk. Oh my God, this is free delivery September 21st to 24th. But it's Wait, not, I think it's already out. No, it's not. This console's not out yet? No. I thought it was out already. I don't have it. Well, I mean. Do you have it? No, do you have it? I just told you I don't have it. Were we it. supposed to have it? I don't, I, other people I would, might have it. Uh, do you think they do? I just Cyber, feel like, here's um, the thing. Our friend Ed is like obsessed and I think he was gonna get this. So I, I feel like if it was out, we would have heard about it. I don't think so. Look, unboxing, I think it's already out. <gasps> I Wait. thought it was already out. Oh. Look at this, this person's unboxing. They are unboxing. Unless it's it. a lie and they're a fake unboxing, a fake product that they might Photoshop onto their desk is or that, inside of a box. Is that an empty box? I don't know, let's see. No, it's real. You hmm. sure? Yeah, look, dude. June fourteenth. I swear it's already out. Okay, maybe it's the game's out. not out. No, the console's out. I have the controller. It looks really good. Well, I, I also have the controller. I just thought this that, looks like, so good. I, I thought our friend Ed pre-ordered it, and I thought well, like, no, he I, would be the first to tell us. I, because I don't. I, I think that when he went to pre-order, that wasn't available or something. Oh, I don't know. Mm, oh, our, oh, anyway. our wires are getting crossed. Oh, that's a little crossed. That's so crossed. Yeah, because I think it's sold out. Man, this Xbox looks good. I keep looking, it does look good. I keep looking at it. It I'm does look really, very, very good. I'm really excited. This would be a nice um, living room mm. console gaming. I put it on my little, my, um, what's it called? Under the TV. It's like not a stand, uh, like I just, a ledge. A, con a, a, a ledge console. No, I don't have one. I just one. spilled juice all over me. Well, you can watch that on the YouTube video if you'd like to see that. Oh, I have hit the microphone. Um, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it though. It's, not, it's fine. I need to get closer to the microphone. We've been too far away. I've been really far away. Because yeah. Oh, I we got a bug. So I had some flies in my house. They caught in and then they laid some eggs somewhere and now I have baby flies. Well, I think I found a black widow spider today. In my house? No, in mine. Okay, phew. Oh, thank God, but not here. Are there other like black spiders with like Big belly butts, or like, is that like just specific? It did, I didn't see the belly. I saw the spider and I thought, you look like you could be a black widow spider. A big belly butt. And I was like, show me your belly. And then it looked at me and I'm like, I don't want to see your belly. Cause you know, they have like the orange or red on their belly, the black widow spider. No. So then I, no? I don't know. Oh my God, everybody should know their spiders. Uh, well, I'm this sorry. This spider came from my blanket basket. And then I was like, what if, there's, what if there's more spiders in the blanket, ba blank, blanket basket? Blank, the blanket basket. <laughs> Anyway, did it's no longer with us because I tried to save it and I injured it. So then I had to take care of it and I felt bad. Oh, but what if he would have taken care of you in the negative way of murder? It could have, it could have laid eggs in my nose while I was sleeping. What the, I almost said, I almost said, a, I almost said a bad word because I was so <laughs> shook at the thought of it. Think, picture this, a spider no, going into your it. ear, laying eggs stop inside it. of your ear. I've been playing Grounded and I'm traumatized. Isn't it fun? Grounded it's is so, so cute. It's traumatizing. It's oh, so also, speak, we were just talking about our friend Ed. He said that there's an arachnophobia mode so that you can like turn down yeah. the spider scariness. Ungrounded, you can. That's insane. I love it. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. I left mine on. I no, because like, I started, I'm like, I was like, oh God, oh geez. That's been the game that I've been using to demo all of these things. I demoed it on oh God, um, me too. I the did Duo, I know PC, I on this HP on the, video I did. I didn't do it on the Duo, but I did it on my um, HP Omen video. So this is mine. This is mine. We got to send it back. This would be a nice little, well, we do have to send it back. I don't wanna. This is a prototype. This is not official. It does not turn on. Yeah, but look, the buttons. It does have real. buttons. Ooh, it's I nice. like there's a USB in the front. Is there a USB in the front in this one? 
Yep. Yeah. Plug it in. Thoughtful. Plug it in. Plug it in. Look. There's a There's button. the storage expansion right back there. Yeah, I already looked at it. Okay. Ethernet. I love that. Yeah. Man, this she is, loves that. Gaming season is upon us. New it's Call of Duty here. The new. Um, there were, I was watching the multiplayer uh, reveal. Multiplayer. You can go on like boats and jet skis, snowmobiles. snowmobiles. And I like that the war zone, like basically all of your kind of like achievements and stuff will kind of like cross That's over. Nice. I've played probably eight days worth of Warzone in the past six months. Like, well, actually, you know what? It might be more than that. I, I mean, a lot I would have played more if I didn't dedicate 700 hours to Animal Crossing. I have my, I've neglected my island. I feel bad. I forgot. I haven't checked in since my birthday. I wanted my cake. I just, you know, I Classic. mean, if you guys want YouTube videos, I had to stop playing. I forgot. Or you wouldn't be seeing any. Yeah, I forgot. Well, or have a podcast. I th we've made it to an hour and two minutes, but by the time we edit this down, it's probably going to be under an hour. You're probably going to be under an hour. You're probably going to have to uh, be in charge of this this episode. No. Please. I'm no. slowly drowning over here. I filled up my jellyfish server. Can you believe <gasps> how it? Many, um, how many it jellies is, is that? It's 75 terabytes, but it has, um, well, 75 usable, 96 total. Air so, well, what are those other ones doing? Just lounging? Well, no, it's like redundancy. So in ah, case I you, a drive crashes or something. So I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, whoa, I didn't think that I would go through. Well, I'm surprised actually that it did last this long. I'm actually surprised too. Cause, Cause we shoot a lot of content. And like, especially shooting on like the, uh, the, ninja. the ninjas, like the files are just so much bigger. Huge. Well, Justine, I don't want to like get you excited, but it's how many weeks? It's two weeks out from <gasps> Sony a7S3. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like iPhone because the iPhone and Apple announcement, we didn't even talk about that at all. The Apple announcement is happening. Oh my gosh. On the 15th. <gasps> So you know what that means? New podcast. We're gonna have a special edition. We're gonna have podcast. To do a special edition of the podcast. Who has time for that? I don't know. We. Oh my god. We need help. Help. Nine one one. No, don't leave them alone. They're probably busy, or I'm not sure. I don't know. Do they still do they take calls now? I don't know. I'm not sure either. So tired. We also have something else special that we need to shoot that we could talk about off microphone is it something that i know about yes or is it an email that i just didn't no, read? no it's here we have to talk about it we can talk about it also later next week it's gonna be exciting lots of secrets coming it? up you guys oh, so make that. sure that you oh, are that make sure you're subscribed to our new youtube channel for the same brain podcast as well as our normal youtube channels we would love to tell you how to subscribe, but we don't have a slash yet. Yeah, you'll find it. Well, we do have a Twitter and a, and a um, Instagram. We do, same brain. How about this? Uh, After this, Jenna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you in charge. I don't like that. Of the Instagram content. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's get that all up to date. What? By Saturday. What day's today? Uh, Well, it's Saturday for them. Oh my God. It's Thursday for us. So that by the time that they're listening to this, they will be able to go and there'll actually be some stuff there. We also, our logo is almost completed. I have um, done a very bad job of responding back to our wonderful designer. And I'm very excited because it's super cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So our Instagram is same brain podcast. We have one follower. Who is it? I don't even think I'm following it. Oh, wait. I didn't want to follow wait, it. We have six followers. Oh, am I following it? Wait a minute. Oh. I... Didn't want to follow not it. I'm following it either. Because We're gonna I, have well, it up to date. I didn't want to follow it because then people would see that I followed it and then I they know. would go follow it and I there's understand. nothing there. I understand. So well, it's, it's all gonna like, be up to date. We're gonna we have a lot of cool stuff coming out. Make sure you guys uh, leave us a review. You can leave a voice message, anchor.fm slash same brain, as well as Apple Podcasts. We have been reading our reviews and you know, five stars if you like it. You know, it'd be fun. Maybe five like stars, can, even if you don't like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just, it's only gonna get better. This is paying the bills, people. We, have, we haven't we've made, made $80. Yet. We did, yeah. That was from one sponsor <laughs> that um, the anchor, like I think it was like a pity sponsorship that they give you, like whenever you sign we up. I love it. <laughs> no, I was like so hyped. I was like, oh my God, we already have a sponsor on anchor. Like this is gonna be great. It's like, this is gonna be a consistent thing because it's so easy to record. They never sent us I another don't, one. I don't even want to tell you that that, probably didn't even pay the electric bill for the 13 episodes that it has taken to like the lighting and like all this. It's This has oh taken a lot more time than you, you would sure. imagine. A lot because, of time and energy. So Tyler has been doing mostly like rough edits 
of like everything, which ends up being, I, I still haven't posted them. I mean, it's just like a very long YouTube video. Yeah, so then he's editing that. And then after he's done editing, just so that he doesn't have to export it, I will then, he will put it on to post lab. I will then go through and then I'll watch it. That's like another hour. And then if there's any little small tweaks that I make, then that all takes time. And then I export it again. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my God, we have spent so much time on this podcast, but like, I really do enjoy it. It's super fun. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah I'm excited about the future. Of it, but I just want you guys to know that like, if this is, this has been a very big well, undertaking. We thought this was gonna be easy. We're trying. We're best. trying. Yeah, we're really trying. Our anyway, we appreciate all of- are in the dishwasher. Oh, the spoons are just, they're charging up. They're like, help. Oh boy. Help. Okay, but cool. But we appreciate all the support. Thank you guys again for listening. Stay tuned for a lot more information coming your way in the next episode. Do we have, we do have an outro song. We need to set one of these pads to our song. Okay, we don't have that yet. We don't yet. Next don't week. Yet. Okay, bye. Okay, cool. Bye.